This video tutorial will show you how to access and use the online library services. Um, first of all, here we are in one of my classes, and I just want to show you a couple of shortcuts that will allow you to get to the university library. You can see in my classes I have a direct link here, so you could just click that and it would take you to the library. We'll get back to that in a second. Um, this is an optional um, feature in D2L, so if your classes don't have this shown, you can always get to the online library by just going to resources and then clicking on library. That will also take you there. Alternatively, you can just go to the university website, go to current students, and click library, and that will also get you to library. So there are several different ways you can get to the library. We're just going to go back to one of my classes and click on the library link and see that that takes us directly to the library. Now, first thing that you need to have are passwords. Um, so if you go over here on the left, you'll see that there are some great um, uh, menu options here. If you don't have your account number or password, just go ahead and click this link here and then watch this video. It'll tell you how you can get your um, library password for the first time. Also, if we go back to our um, homepage, in all of your online classes, you'll have um, this library help 24 seven box on the right hand side of your page at the bottom. You can see that um, during business hours, they have live chat. So you can see chat available. You could type your questions there. Um, they also have numbers and um, other information that you can use to get help. But what you wanna pay attention to here is this Galileo password. Um, every semester they change the password. Galileo is what I recommend as the uh, best search tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that password so that when we get to the online library, we can just um, we can just paste that right in. So I'm going to click the link to go to the library. Here in the center is the main search box. So you can see you can search books, articles, research guides, or course reserves. For most of your classes, including mine, you'll want to look for articles. So just go ahead and click articles. Now we could do a quick article search, find a specific journal, or browse at databases. I'm going to click on browse databases so you can see what's available. You can search by subject or you can go to all databases. There are a couple that I recommend that I think are really helpful. The first one is Galileo, which is what we're gonna use in a second. But if you scroll down under G, um, a lot of students like Google Scholar as well. So either one of those, or again, you can just search by subject by going back and searching by subject, which is really helpful as well. So um, if you just wanna search by law and criminology, you could click there and then you would just search, um, put your search term in here and click search. I'm just gonna go back because I like to do just a quick article search. So I just click on articles, do a quick article search. And let's just put a topic in here and we'll say, crime rates in the US and go ahead and click search. And when it pulls up the page, it's going to ask you for that Galileo password. So go ahead and paste that password in now. And it allows you to log into the system. So it's going to bring up um, a list of uh, results for our search. Over here on the left-hand side, see where it says full text? You want to click that. For most of your classes, you'll be needing a full text article. And for most of them, you're going to want a peer-reviewed scholarly journal article. So click that. Now you have limited your choices to full text peer reviewed articles. So let's just go ahead and click on the first one and you can see that it'll give you lots of different um, search results. So I'm just going to click on the first one. So here you can read the abstract to, see, to determine whether or not you think this article will be valuable for your research. If you think that it is, you can go ahead and click here where it says full text PDF. This will allow you to read the full article. You can print it and you can download it. I like to download articles, so you would just give it a name, hit save, and it'll be downloaded to your desktop. And then you can just access that article, print it out, do whatever you need to do. Um, you can also get the detailed record. You can um, email the link, save the link, cite it, export it. There's so many great options with the online library. So if you have any questions about how to use the library, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope that this tutorial was helpful.